Welcome to Math TV with Professor V. It is Wednesday, January 25th, 2023. Here's your integral of the day. We have indefinite integral, x plus 4 over x squared plus 2x plus 5. So I picked this one because at first you might think, oh, we need to do partial fraction decomposition, but then probably after a second you notice that this denominator does not factor. So that won't work. What to do? Like I said, don't ever sit around and just cry and feel sorry for yourself in math. You've got to suck it up and make it work. So <laughs> x squared plus 2x plus 5. No, it doesn't factor. I'm going to complete the square. Um, x squared plus 2x plus 1 is a perfect square trinomial. And since I have plus 5 in the denominator, I'm just going to break that 5 up into 1 plus 4. Why am I doing that? Well, now I'm going to set out to rewrite the denominator as x plus 1 quantity squared plus 4. And that's going to help me out a little bit. Notice what I'm going to do. So now we have integral, still x plus 4 up here. And then x plus 1 squared plus 4 dx. I'm going to split this up into two integrals. That's looking ugly. Let's make it cuter. And I really want to just treat this as my new variable quantity. I'm looking to do a u substitution. So instead of x plus 4 in the numerator, I wish that I had x plus 1 as well. So I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to rewrite this again as x plus 1 plus 3, because that's x plus 4. And then now I have x plus 1 quantity squared plus 4 dx. All right. And then next up, we're going to split this into two integrals. So first one's just going to be x plus 1 over x plus 1 squared plus 4 dx plus, and then we have integral 3 over x plus 1 squared plus 4 dx. We'll tackle these one at a time. So this is integral number 1 and number 2. Okay. Very good. So like I said, for the first one, we're going to go ahead and let u be, you could do just x plus 1 first, and then you're going to need to do another substitution. I'm going to go in a little aggressively and um, let u be x plus 1 quantity squared plus 4. Yep, I'm serious. And then du, differentiate the right-hand side, use the chain rule. You have 2 times x plus 1, derivative of x plus 1 is just 1 dx. That's almost exactly what we have here, x plus 1 dx, x plus 1 dx. So that means 1 half du equals x plus 1 dx. So I can rewrite integral 1 now as 1 half du over u, right? Wow. <laughs> so then this is going to be 1 half natural log, absolute value of u, I'm going to say plus c1, because we got another integral to do. And then u was that uh, x plus 1 quantity squared plus 4. So this is 1 half ln absolute value x plus 1 squared plus 4 plus c1. And then remember, x plus 1 squared, that's never going to be negative plus 4, that's not negative, so I don't need to keep the absolute values here. I could just write this as 1 half ln, let's multiply it all out to how it originally was. It was x squared plus 2x plus 5 plus c1. So leave that simmering on the back burner, and now let's go knock out integral number 2. This is going to be even easier. No u sub necessary. You should recognize this is... Good friend, tan inverse. So let me take the 3 out so you can see maybe this is dx over x plus 1 squared plus 2 squared. Does that help you a little bit? That 2 was looking weird. Okay, you just got to put this to memory. So this is 3 times we're going to have 1 half tan inverse of x plus 1 over 2. I'm going to say plus c2. And then we could just clean it up. This is 3 halves tan inverse x plus 1 over 2 plus c2. That one was easier. So all together now, 
we can put it as one sum. So we have one half ln x squared plus 2x plus 5 plus 3 halves tan inverse x plus 1 over 2 plus c, where, tell the people, c is c1 plus c2. If you're precise with keeping track of your constants like that, it'll really take you places. You have to be super, super meticulous in differential equations, so it's just good training to start now. Anyways, hope you liked that integral. I thought it was a little extra peculiar, tricky, spicy, whatever you want to call it, fun, <laughs> all those things. So give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Catch me on TikTok and Instagram at Math TV with Professor V and have a great day, you guys. Bye.